All right, we're back with another video. It's been a little while. I've been chasing demons on the van, the high ace that I have. I think it might have a cracked head or a blown head gasket, which would be not good. Uh, I'm kind of running around trying to figure out if it could be anything else. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen my stories, but Anyways, that's beside the point. Today we're working on the 240 um, and just giving you guys a little update on what's been going on. Uh, I bought a mountain bike, which has been sick. Uh, good thing I bought a mountain bike because now I don't have a fucking vehicle to drive <laughs> to work. And I, I live pretty close to where I work, so I've been riding my bike, which has been nice also because I'm getting in some uh, cardio every day. Uh, here's the 240. This is how I left it last time in all of its glory. And today we got a couple new parts from Max Peating Rods. Uh, we got lower control arms so we can do a little bit more adjustability on the front end suspension. That's probably going to be it for today. Uh, I also want to let you guys know that we should have merch, a new merch drop um, for you guys to buy if you would like to as this video drops. So link in the description for that um, and thank you if you buy some. and. I appreciate it. Yeah, since I have to do a lot of work on the van now, I'll probably start filming some of that. If we have to tear the whole motor apart, which we are kind of looking like I might have to, then uh, then I'll do some filming on that as well. And there's also a possibility I might pick up another car in the future, soon future, with another blown head gasket. <laughs> when I open this, it'll probably all fall off. That's how you know it's good fitment. All right, well, thank you guys for sticking around for uh, for all the content recently. Uh, the videos have been getting pretty good views, which is awesome. I'm super excited to be posting again and super excited to be working on this car. So I, every time I come over here, I'm like, fuck, that thing's going to be so sick when I can drive it again. <laughs> I'm going to get my buddy Mitch over here pretty soon and we're going to start working on the motor as well. Um, but like I said, today we just got a couple suspension bits to get in. Oh, today would have been a good day for Mitch to come. Yeah. So like I said, I bought a mountain bike. I sh I'll film it when I get home maybe and show you guys how, what it looks like. A lot of people on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, have seen it. But it's fucking sick. I've been having so much fun riding mountain bikes. You need to get one of those GoPro things on your head. Dude, there's this guy, BMX, or M MTN. I've been watching every fucking night like before I go to sleep. He just does like POV, like downhill shit. Yeah, yeah but... Badass. A lot of those dudes, because I've watched some of them, is it the kind where he's going down really steep, skinny trails, like basically down rocks in Utah and shit? Yeah, he does all of that shit. Uh, yeah, dude, that, uh, you gotta have balls of like, steel. He also does like, just like fast downhill shit. But anyways, I think it'd be cool to, to start filming some of that because he posted like his whole camera setup and it's like $1,200 for everything. So not bad, but I'll get this running before I start doing that. <laughs> Yeah, so I ordered some spacers and uh, I think I sh just showed you in this video already how the fitment looks. It's fucking money. One inch was just enough to do the trick. I like that they're black. So these are the new lower control arms from Max Peating Rods that we're putting on. We noticed that there's only one bolt hole, but I guess a lot of companies are doing that for some reason. Who am I to question the engineering guys on there. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> Some random fucking bolt. All right, now we need a pickle fork. Oh, hey, I definitely got that. That bushing was torched. It needed change. <laughs> Look at that fucking thing. Yeah. Oh, show them your mowed lawn. Well, <laughs> it's, it's all coming back. Shit. These things came back so quick. These weeds that look like cabbage. Castle nut. We got a fucking cotter pin and we got the right bolts. High quality stuff. Moving up. Still still Flintstone in it though. Yep. <laughs> okay, scratch that whole thing about having the right bolts. <laughs> There's a lot of miscellaneous bolts on this car. 
But I wonder, it'd be really convenient if they did make like full bolt kits for cars. That would be so sick. Much better. Damn, dude, look at all my red shit. I know, it's, it's not bad. Okay. Oh. Although, I'm assuming you're gonna paint those calipers. You're gonna what? Paint the calipers. Oh, I don't know. Then we should probably change that one to the red one so it's matching. Maybe. Future problems. You know, I'm thinking about it. I mean, even, you know, regardless of how much the tent thing's worth, like, I feel like even if you got 2,500, you could actually buy a reliable daily. Fuck that. <laughs> you can get something like, like, like the Galant. My bicycle is my reliable daily. It's true. Well, is it reliable, your, t your tire <laughs> pops today? One side done. It's looking kind of sick, not gonna lie. Upgraded. Throw this wheel back on. Shout out to everyone who's helped with parts and stuff. Uh, like Max Peening Rods, Cage Kits, um, GK Tech, Fine Line Tuning. Street Faction sent me that um, power brace. So there's been a lot of uh, a lot of support on this car over the years. Crazy to think that this car is leaking fluid. <laughs> the power oh, the power <laughs> That's a good sign. Shit, it's a hell of a lot easier than the E36 was. Look at the fucking bolt on the tie rod. The nut, I mean, on the tie rod. <laughs> it's a fucking lug. <laughs> yeah. That was um, that was when we were trying to get it rolling from Charles's shop, I think. Yep. Damn! Look at the angle on that bitch. Not the mallet. You gotta get the three pound. Here, hold this. Yeah. Shout out to Ross for this hammer. Really? <laughs> Six ninety nine. <laughs> this guy gets everything from Ross. Dude, they got good deals. The shakedown on this is gonna be wild. <laughs> At the very least, it does look cool. You ever talk to your window guy? Or, yeah. Yeah. That the other day. Did you ask him about the quarter? Said no problem. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, let's drop this thing down. Let's see what we got. Okay, I can already tell. Hold on. The alignment is way off. We gotta, we gotta keep all these bolts together. Oh shit, dude. It's like fucking pit, or opposite of pigeon toe, duck footed. Uh, but yeah, we just gotta adjust the tie rods or the control arms. <laughs> it's trying to go both ways at once. <laughs> All right, well, that's probably gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll get out of the wind here for a second. Um, yeah. Thank you, Max Peating Rods. Thank you, GK Tech. Thank you, Cage Kids. Thank you, all of you guys, for watching the videos. Thank you, Street Faction. Thank you, Fine Line Tuning. Thank you, Jeff, one of my main sponsors. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you, Nissan. Uh, check the link in the description. There'll be new merchandise. We've got t-shirts dropping with this video. And also check the link in the description if you want to check out Max Peating Rods' website. Uh, they got tons of very well-priced parts for like a million different cars. So. Check them out and use code more skids. I'll put it over the screen. I think it's more skids, but yeah. if it's not, I'll put it over the screen right now and get like 15% off? off. We should probably double check that. I'm pretty sure it's like that. I, I think that's what it is. Yeah. But if it's not, then I'll put it over the screen as well. <laughs>